I'll explain what this grow bed is doing, and then we'll, we'll go down and you can see the springs popping up down yep. below. Okay. So this this next terrace here um, is 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 kind of special and unique in that it's about six feet deep, and in the bottom of it is large boulders and rocks surrounding a pipe system, a, a perforated pipe system that drains the grow bed and sends the water down to the raised grow beds below. And oh my goodness. this is beneficial in a couple of different ways. Um, the, obviously, we, we have a pressurized gravity feed down below, which is very handy. But also, this bed is so deep that if we didn't drain it, it would just trap water and get very um, putrefied, acidic and putrefying. Um, and so that drainage is extremely helpful for this. And what I've noticed so far through the year is that it started out, when we first established the grow bed, we put a bunch of logs and branches and palm fronds and wood chips and things in, in the grow bed. Mm -hmm. And it, it was very, um, very stinky to begin with. And now it's, over the course of the year, it's balanced out. So I think what's happening is, is once a week when this water comes into the grow bed, it's pushing out the acid and the methane and all the different you know things that go on as that's breaking down mm -hmm. and then as the water drains away it's sucking oxygen in so this bed it gets it gets breathed mm -hmm. once a week wow. and it has gotten progressively fresher and fresher and fresher to the point that there's very little odor at this point so it's, ba it's balancing in which is exciting and then these are just regular terraces here but the entire system all through here, before we started creating all the S-turns, we first set it up so that it would drain away with the sub the subgrading. So that even though the water's doing all these lateral motions, the under the understory, I guess you could say, or the, the, the sublayer is a, a waterproofing clay that drains it off. So once the water leaves after three hours, um, the same principle applies to these grow beds. They get a good soak and then the water goes away, which creates a suction mm. from atmospheric pressure. The oxygen gets basically forced into the grow bed. But that's like, like, like with any grow bed, you need that good drainage for that purpose. Um, wow. <laughs> Mind equals blown. Mind equals blown. <laughs> Novice and advanced alike, I guarantee you, mind is blown. Okay, wait, this is, this is interesting. Three movements of water in front of me. I'm almost uh, dizzy. <laughs> this is so beautiful. It looks like an optical illusion. It does. <laughs> this is the magician right here. It doesn't seem like enough drop. Huh? <laughs> 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 Andy, how long have you been doing this? Uh, permaculture for uh, just this year. Just this year. I, I took the. <laughs> I took my certification course with Warren Brush okay. at uh, True Nature Farm, and um, so that was uh, let's see, end of 2012, or yeah, summer of 2012. Okay. And then we started this this year, March 1st. <laughs> so. Mind equals blown again. 